Hey guys, it's Cass here and today I'm doing a tag. It is called Book Design Tag. It's a few years old, not gonna lie. I might have even done it in the past, who knows. But I saw this video over on Chelsea Zayo's channel and it seemed like a bit of fun. So here I am doing it. The original was by Holly Dumb Designs. Dumb or Done, can't read my own writing. But that will also be linked down below along with the Questianos. So let's just get into it. It's about books that are pretty as you can probably tell by the title. So, the first prompt is a book you bought primarily or completely because of the cover. Now to be fair, I didn't technically buy this book originally for the cover, but I did download it for free on my Kindle. So, Stag's Run by Zaya Fale, the first book in the Ironbreakers trilogy. I saw it on my Kindle, it was free. So, that's literally the reason that I downloaded it. And then I read it and liked it and then bought the trilogy in physical, so the cover obviously worked. Also, Zaya Fali's an artist, so she does all of her covers herself, which is also cool. So number two is a book you want to buy that has a beautiful cover. So I don't really pay attention to covers that much when I want to buy books. It's not like the primarily thing. That's not how you English is not the primary, primary. It's not the primary thing I look for, but I had a look on my list on Amazon of what I want to read and the book called Madhouse at the End of Earth definitely has a really pretty cover. It's a very different aesthetic to a lot of books on this list, but it is one that I very much enjoy. So yes, that is the cover that stood out to me the most on that list. There it is. Number three is your favourite series design. And I feel like I could have put uh, Iron Breakers Trilogy on here for that one. But then I was like, what else would I put for the other one? For the covers? Bye. So instead, I'm going for the pretty obvious choice of The Raven Cycle. These books are all absolutely stunning. Here's one. Here's another one. Guess what? Here's a third. And, and there's a fourth. They're just really, really pretty. So they fit for this. But also, just because we're here, I'll show you the other covers for the Iron Breakers trilogy as well. So this is book two, and this is book three. So next up we have Dust Jackets, which is a book with a beautiful dust jacket or something unexpected underneath the jacket. So for this one, I think a pretty decent answer would be Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley. It does have a dust jacket, but it's actually smaller than the actual graphic novel. But when you take the old dust jacket off, it looks like this underneath. Oh, shiny, shiny. It, it looks like this underneath. And this. So, it works. And to be fair, I don't actually own that many hardbacks, so I pretty much went around my whole bookcase and looked at every single one of them to find the best. So, you got the best. Next up, number five is Naked Hardbacks, a gorgeous book with no just jacket. And this one is something that I don't have many of. I think perhaps I have three and one of them is a book I got off eBay that just didn't come with a dust jacket so does that count? Probably not. But of the three I've got a very decent pick. And that pick is Julia and the Shark by Kieran Millwood Hargreaves and Tom D. Freston. This is a kids book, it's hardback, it's naked hardback, it's really pretty. I've talked about this book quite recently so if you've seen wrap ups maybe last month or the month before you would have seen me talk about this and how inside it's really gorgeous as well but yeah we've been there so we'll leave it at that we're about halfway through so let's nip on over to a message from one of our sponsors and then i shall be back with more pretty covers hi oh got this yum mm -mm -mm. Treat just for the subbies. That's that's just my finger. Oh, he likes them treats. Do you want another one? You're attached. We have another. Oh my days! You're so aggressive. <laughs> Ouch. See, a little guy is all subdued and cute and sweet until the sweets come out, and then look at you. Don't even care. Aggressive. Do you want to like? Sorry. What are you purring at? <laughs> Silly bugger. Unhinge. Next up is a beautiful paperback. Just 
a beautiful paperback. Almost all of my books are paperback, so that is very hard. I kind of want to lean towards Wild Sky by Zaya Feli, but I've already done a Zaya Feli book, so I feel like it's a little bit cheating. But it is very pretty. It's got a dragon on it and a person on it, and it's just very simple but really nice. I mean, while we're here, let's just round it off with her other two books. It's just very good at, at putting book covers together and the words inside the books, which is always a bonus. I feel like just up here, this, just this section of books is really pretty. So that's Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. And then right next to it is Girl Made of Stars and then Autobiography. I feel like all of these are really pretty. So, you know, pick one and that's my choice. Next up, we have a non-fiction book with a lovely cover. And to be fair, I actually have quite a few. But I think this one is probably the most aesthetically pleasing. And that is Erebus, the story of a ship by Michael Palin. Let me give you the full look. So it looks like this. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little bit shiny as well. There we go. Ooh. Yes, very, very pretty. If I do say so myself. Next up, we have a book with great end papers. And there were a few choices of this. When I was looking through all the hardbacks to see which one was the best underneath, I did catch a glimpse of a few of them. I thought, oh, that's a quite nice end page. Oh, so is that. But I'm going with Draw the Line by Lauren Lynn. So let me just take this off first so you get the full view of it. Throw that on the floor. I just have some eyes on the front. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, eyes. But we're not here for that. So this is the end pages at the front. And then here's the end pages at the back. Next up we have Spine, a book that looks just as gorgeous facing outwards as it done facing forwards. And I feel like this is probably going to be a bit of hit or miss for people watching because I know a lot of people don't like this sort of thing. And the thing I'm talking about is faces on the cover. But the Marbury Lens and Passenger, which is a duology, when you put the spines together, it makes a dude's face. Let's see if I can focus on this properly and not on me. Can you see that? He's got glasses, there's his chin and his mouth. So I think that's cool, personally. But I know some people are not a fan of faces, so they might not think that that's cool, but I do. I feel like so many books have really nice ends and they're really colourful and fancy and the typography is nice but that one actually makes a picture so I think that's pretty cool. And now we're at the end of the tag and the last question is tag some people, that's not a question or a prompt, it is a prompt. The last prompt is to tag some people, I'm prompted to tag some people so I'm going to tag Katie from Introverted Reader, of course, do it if you want, these people don't have to do it and if I don't tag you you can also do it. I wasn't tagged, I just saw the video and thought it was a cool idea. I'll also tag Kat from Bruising Reviews. Kat has loads of cool books. Hopefully she can find some cool answers. And I'll tag Ashley from Ashley's Media Addiction. So if you want to do this tag, then do it. Whether I tagged you or not. So yeah, let me know down below any books that spring to mind for you for any of these prompts. Or if you liked any of my choices or if you thought they were terrible and I have terrible taste in books, let me know. It's all a fun time. And if this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, then please check out some of the others. And if you continue to enjoy, then please subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyway guys, I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye.